fellow painters, welcome to Driftwood's homemade painting tutorial series. Today, in our first episode of the Mythic Battles Pantheon series, we are going to be tackling the Seta children from the 2019 Dionysus expansion. They're a very nice miniature that provide a good backup troop for the main god himself, and are very easy to paint with just minimal colours. Let's get into it. Preparations don't take very long at all for this figure. They are provided completely assembled and already stuck onto their bases, so we can just spray them with this white plastic primer before we begin, providing a strong base coat. Moving on to the base colours, we want to start with Abaddon Black. Add some water to the paint to ease its application. We want to place the black on the main area of the amphora first. You don't want to worry about placing it onto the raised areas, but just make sure that the lower parts are all black, as is important for later. It is also used on the legs of the satyrs. Make sure you get all areas, especially the underneath, and the hooves. Dryad bark is used for the skin tone, only up to the edge of the legs. Take a bit of care on the area near the head, make sure that you don't paint anywhere that you've already done. Do not forget the hands around the handles. Fist in red can highlight the raised areas of the amphora jar. You want to make sure now that it doesn't go onto the black areas painted. Use the side of the brush most and angle it properly so that it can catch the sharpest edges. Refer to the video so you see all the necessary areas to paint. The wine at the top can also be painted red now. The shading and shadows can start with a small bit of drooky violet on the red of the wine only. Nuln oil should be used to shade the entire jar, including the red areas. Make sure that the deeper recesses are definitely shaded.
Agrax Earthshade can be used on the entirety of the Seder, including the legs and the body. Leave these for 30 minutes to dry. Moving on to highlights and detailing. The wine should have some topside highlighting with Evil Sun's Scarlet. Do not highlight anywhere on the jar with this. White Scar can be used as the white of the eyes. Place as best as you can on the dimples that they have outlined. I made a small mistake on the nose, but it's okay as I cleaned it back up with some dry air bark. A few small lines of the white can also be placed on the hooves to enhance an effect we will later use. Abandoned black can provide the pupils. Get a small amount on your brush and dab it straight in, into the middle. I've used dark rubber, a Vallejo paint, for the highlighting on the grey, but you could also use Eschen grey just as easily. I have first used this to highlight the smoother sections of the jar, avoiding the places where the raised areas meet the base. Once enough paint is taken off of the brush, you can use the colour as a dry brush on the legs to just highlight the raised areas of fur. Jokero Orange can highlight the red areas on the jar. Pretty much highlight the whole area, leaving only a few parts of the original red at the tightest of folds. This provides some depth. Cadian Flesh Tone can highlight the higher areas of the raised surfaces, just the tops of the circles and the legs, as well as the middle of the rims. Gorthor Brown can highlight the skin tone, 
used on the tops of the heads and the arms. Try to shape the face into the expression you want it to be, avoiding the dark of the cheeks insides and the underside of the chin. Make sure when you're on its back that you avoid painting the recesses of muscle. Baneblade Brown can provide a sharper highlight on the top of the head, the brow, cheekbones and the sharper parts of the body, like the elbows and the tops of the muscle. Administratum grey can be used on the sharper bits of the rims that are grey, as well as the handles tops. A dry brush of this colour can also be used on the upper sides of the legs. Hard coat can be used in little dots on the hooves. This should finish the highlights. The landscaping stage is fairly simple. Just using a black base for this game, as the ground changes on each map. And that's it! Hope you've enjoyed, and any questions you have, please place in the comments. Thank you, and keep an eye out for new episodes soon.